This is the MoYu RS3M 2020, a cube that's been one of my favorites ever since it was released. Everyone was surprised with its high quality for its low price. And this is the MoYu RS3M 2021, this year's version of the cube which was just released. It's got some new technology so let's dive into it. So let's talk about what's new. In this year's cube, there is one major change that I know about, and this is maglev technology. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation and is usually created by opposing magnets. Maglev is commonly used in trains in East Asia and also machinery, so it's really cool to see this implemented into a Rubik's cube. So what does maglev do? Well in this case, it replaces the cube's springs. As you tighten the screws, the magnets get closer together, and as you loosen them, they get farther apart creating a working tensioning system. The use of maglev eliminates all previous friction from the springs and also spring noises. This results in a much smoother, quieter cubing experience. Although this was the first maglev cube released, there are now two others, the Gian 12M maglev and the Moyu Weilong WRM maglev. This cube is still the cheapest out of the three by far, being only $14. Now, how does maglev increase your overall solves? Well, I decided to find out. So far, I've done over 300 solves, and my best average of 100 is 13.36 seconds, which is a PB and is pretty insane because this is my first large session I've done in months. So I guess maglev really does make a difference. As far as I know, every other aspect of this cube is the same as last year's version. I think it's good that they didn't change too many things, because last year's cube was so good that by adding maglev they just made it better. Here's how I set up my cube. I turned each screw about 720 degrees, and turn the tensioning system two clicks on every side. I added two drops of Gian Magic Lube, a little bit of weight 5, or weight 3, I can't remember, and one drop of DNM 37. I found that this cube doesn't need a whole lot of breaking in, it's really good right out of the box with a little setup. So thank you guys so much for watching my review on this cube. If you feel like it, you could leave a like and comment something below. But other than that, see you in the next video.